Boy, there's chaos on the streets of Northern California. Watch this. Can you believe this is happening in the United States of America? I mean, this is an unbelievable scene. More than 3,000 Occupy Oakland protesters in clashes now with the police. They're setting bonfires in the streets, forcing the city's busy downtown shipping port to shut down. That has a huge effect on commerce, of course. This is a brand new hour now of America's Newsroom. Glad to have you with us this morning on a Thursday. I'm Martha McCallum. I'm Bill Hemmer. Good morning. Good morning to you. Long yeah. night there in California, huh? And it went on and on like this. Officers in riot gear firing tear gas into that crowd. About 40 arrested. Police do not believe this is over. We do have continued concerns about a group that uh, we've identified as anarchists that have been um, roaming through the crowds. We are watching them. Uh, we do have some pictures available later um, to share with you of what they look like. We want to continue to make sure that the peaceful, that people are, are here to um, exercise their First Amendment rights and that they are not uh, being disrupted by these groups who are um, bent on uh, causing damage and confronting the police. Big concern for all the businesses down there and uh, in all these areas across the country. Claudia Cowan's on this for us in San Francisco. So what happened? Why did all this break out last night, Claudia? Well, Martha, it all seemed to start right around midnight after a group of protesters split off and broke into a foreclosed building near City Hall, smashing windows and setting bonfires along the way in an effort, as they put it, to reclaim the building for the people. Uh, that's when people in riot gear, police in riot gear, rather, moved in and the mostly peaceful day of action turned into a night of anarchy. Protesters threw Molotov cocktails and bricks at the cops. They responded with tear gas and non-lethal bullets, making dozens of arrests. Many protesters who were hoping that this a general strike would bring attention to their fight for political and economic justice are very angry this morning, saying these anarchists who broke windows and spray-painted several businesses have given the whole Occupy movement a black eye and caused more suffering for a number of small business owners who say that they're part of this 99% too. A Martha, early damage estimates are in the hundreds of thousands of dollars. Wow. Back to and, you. And what about the Port of Oakland? Well, it's still closed this morning after protesters managed to bring operations to a standstill there at the nation's fifth busiest port. That was a primary goal of yesterday's Occupy movement with this day-long general strike. Thousands of protesters blocked streets right around the port for up to six hours, uh, making it impossible for workers to leave or to uh, get to their jobs. Now, during the march, a couple of protesters were hit by a car. That happened when an angry mob surrounded a Mercedes-Benz and started banging on the hood. The driver then hit the gas, injuring a man and a woman. Uh, we're told they are expected to be okay. And in the meantime, Martha, port officials say they hope to resume operations there later today, but they want to make absolutely sure that those workers can get to their jobs safely. Boy, Back to you. Situation. Thank you so much, Claudia. Cowan reporting from San Francisco. That was in California. This